Several years ago, a Japanese medical group used a special camera to record images of ethyl vapors in different glasses. The study showed how different glass shapes affected the density and position of the vapors at the openings of the different glasses. <laughs> so, what's the big deal about vapors? Well, they carry aromatic compounds into your nose, and the aromatic compounds are responsible for producing the vast majority of flavors in wines. I know, I know, that's a lot of technical stuff, and maybe it's too much. You may be saying to yourself, aromatic compounds, who cares? The fact of the matter is, if you like wine, you care. And in this video, I'll be showing you why. That's what we're going to look at, the types and shapes of red wine glasses and what the shapes do for the wine inside of them. The different shapes of glasses create and develop a variety of tastes in, in wines. While there are dozens of glasses to consider, we're going to simplify this. For the purpose of this video series, there are four basic categories of wines. White wines, red wines, rosés, and sparkling wines. We're going to look at the primary types and shapes of glasses in red wines and rosés. Plus, there'll be a little added bonus at the end. To help you out, I have another video entitled White Wine Glasses, and you really ought to check that one out. Our first category of wine and wine glasses are reds. What we're, we find is that it is a whole lot more about how the shape of the vessel collects the aromas and deposits the wine into your mouth. Generally, red wine glasses have larger bowls, bringing more oxygen into contact with the wine. This allows the wine to breathe more, releasing the complex flavors and aromas of the wine. The choice of a red wine glass has a lot to do with mitigating the bitterness of tannins or various spicy flavors. Reds tend to feel smoother and silkier in your mouth as a result of the glass with a wider opening. Like white wines, there are thousands of red wines and dozens of red wine glass types. For our purpose, red wine glasses fall into three types, Bordeaux glasses, Syrah glasses, and Bourgogne glasses. <laughs> How are you doing there? Is this information making sense? Is it okay? If it is, write ASTI in the comment section below. Okay, the first glass we're going to look at is the Bordeaux glass, which is the Cabernet or Merlot glass. Uh, they have an average length stem, a wide base, a larger bowl that tapers slightly at the top. They're designed with a large surface area to get a, a lot of oxygen in contact with the wine, which brings out the fruit flavors and lessens the tannins. The most common wines for a Bordeaux glass are Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Franc, Merlot, and a variety of Bordeaux blends. Uh, the second wine glass is the Syrah and or the Shiraz glass. Keep in mind there are different glasses for the Syrah and Shiraz wines. The New World Shiraz glass is slightly larger than, than the uh, Old World Syrah glass. I'm showing you the Old World Syrah glass. The rim on both glasses sharper tapely inwards from the bowl. This helps bring out the fruit aromas first and then the tannins afterwards. This is a perfect glass for any medium to full body red wine with spicy notes and uh, maybe a higher alcohol content. Spicy notes in the wine is softened because the flavors hit your tongue more progressively from the smaller opening. This glass is well designed for Côte de Rhone or Southern Rhone blends, Zinfandels, Malbecs, Syrahs, Petit Syrahs, and a Chateau Neuf de Pop. Uh, the third glass is the Pinot Noir glass, or the Bourgogne glass. As you can see here, this style, the rim flares out a little bit. This would be an old world Pinot Noir glass. It directs the wine flavors straight to your nose and tongue. This is the new world Pinot Noir glass. It has a very large bowl, maybe the largest or the widest bowl of any glass. It allows for more surface to be exposed to the air. This enables it to open up and express itself a lot quicker and a lot fuller. 
This glass is a great choice for less expressive or lighter, more delicate red wines uh, with more subtle aromas. The larger surface area helps collect the aromas and even intensify them. You'll find Pinot Noirs and Gamays, Zweigelts, Saint Laurent's, Falapagello blends, Nebbiolos, and actually my favorite, Blaufrankisch. They all go well in this glass. The second category of glasses and wines that go in those glasses is the rosé. With rosé, you can use white wine glasses. Like the Chardonnay glass, the uh, Sauvignon Blanc glass, and the Riesling glass. They have narrower, uh, they have narrower bowls. Uh, I think that they also are kind of cool looking. Uh, the long stem will help maintain the cool temperature. This design brings out the fruity aromas of the wine. Well, there, that's your, uh, your red and rosé glasses. Is, you know, if you bought six or eight glasses of each style that we talked about in this video, not to mention that there are dozens of other styles that we haven't even talked about, you would have, or actually you wouldn't have a room large enough in your house to hold all the glasses. Well, <laughs> unless of course you converted one of the kids' rooms. Well, that was just a thought. So when it comes to deciding on which wine glass to go with, let me tell you what I do. If I'm not critiquing wines on the road somewhere, at home I use a Chardonnay glass and a universal glass. Oh yeah, and, and then also a champagne glass. This is a great space-saving way to be able to enjoy your wines. It's a bit pragmatic, but for those who don't want to bother with all the different shapes and fuss over the subtle differences in taste delivery, this is perfect. When you're trying to decide on everyday wine glasses, the important thing is that you get something that you'll enjoy. Something that feels good in your hands and on your lips. Something that fits in your available storage or cabinet space that suits you and that works within your finances. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about the types and shapes of red wine glasses. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, let me know in the comment section below. Now make sure you subscribe for new videos that come out every single week and give it a like if you liked it. Also, if there's someone that you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. Also, ring the bell so that you'll be notified when I post other videos. Folks, I am here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. I look forward to you joining me on Facebook at Asti Wine Consultants, Instagram at Asti Wine Consultants, email your questions to Pierre at AstiWines.com. And if you're looking for some wonderful wines and fantastic wine glasses, check out my website, www.AstiWines.com. Mm -hmm.